How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Blue Shifting and welcome back to Choose Up 2. The weirdest game I've ever played. Well, maybe not, that's not true, but they certainly had the weirdest twist we've ever seen. I have to apologize, by the way, I am exhausted. I've had a week of, like, I guess I, I hate to be frank, but I gotta be frank. I mean, this entire week's been full of just sick people my entire days. And my boys, they got like, some kind of stomach bug and, like, clockwork at nightfall for the past three nights. They both been just throwing up, and I have to clean it up, and I have to throw everything in the washer, and I have to dry it, and I have to take care of them, and you know, I've also been doing my videos, so I've kind of been running on fumes for a little while, and you can't really tell in my other two videos, but tonight you're probably gonna tell because <sighs> I'm so tired, but I want to do this. Like it's like it's like I, I <laughs> I'm so dumb. Like. I should be taking time for myself, and I always normally do, but I, I've been literally in bed for two hours trying to sleep and can't sleep because I want to play the game. <laughs> so, oh, why? Why do I hate myself? But, oh well. So I don't know when this is actually going to come out. Well, I don't know if I'll get through it all tonight or how to stop halfway through and take care of an emergency. I don't know if I'm going to be able to edit it tonight or tomorrow. It kind of depends, but... You know, just whenever you see this, sorry it took so long to get here, and if it didn't take long at all, just know it was quite a journey. <sighs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> anyway, so last time we were here, we discovered that after some heartache, some not-so-kind words, and some shouting, and some disappointment, oh gosh. <sighs> so, after all that, turned out we actually fit they actually hit the synchronization when they all kind of realized that they were all in the same boat together and they have very similar feelings towards each other. it was a lot more complex an answer than I anticipated and when they hit synchronization point it did a time leap for Ara I said I don't know if the other girls are gonna remember everything that happened in this first week but for some reason she has appeared inside her own body on the day this role started and all the events are playing out just as like they did before, except she can kind of remember what happened. So, what the heck? Sigmund freaking Steins Gate-esque, super strong. So I don't know what to expect from here on out, but let's just jump into it. Huh. <gasps> yeah, yeah, I know. Boom. After soaring high in the sky, her soul returned to her body. Out of his body, which had been lying face down on the ground, suddenly sprang back to life. <laughs> Shake, shake, shake. She tapped her smartphone. Right before she placed the call, her aunt stopped. <laughs> okay, it actually said time leap in there. <laughs> like, I heard her say that. She kept thinking, do you remember the first time she met Arara? She crumpled down on the spot. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> she decided to piece together her situation. Question, was my phone clock set back to one week ago? Answer, my phone's clock might be off. Question, why is the support website's time also set to a week ago? Answer, maybe I'm just dreaming. Question, how did I warp all the way through the station? Answer, maybe I've been daydreaming. Question, why did mom and those high school girls say the same thing as last week? Answer, perhaps last week's memories were all just a dream. <laughs> and the answer she's divided from all this. <laughs> To be fair, that's about as likely as time leaping without any real reason for it, but... Yeah, she made a firm declaration. <laughs> oh no, she's going into her own pit of self-awareness and it'll never end. 
<laughs> because she's she's thinking that she doesn't want to just accept and move forward, accepting it's a dream because that's what a character in a manga would do. But now she understands that she's that she's act that that would be uh, acting like a character in a manga. But is she gonna take that advice because it'd be acting like a manga, not a real person? Oh, she'll just make the right conclusion. A bold claim. She was still thinking about everything in the framework of manga. Nonetheless, she rummaged through her bag. She pulled out a can of cookies she gave to Kokoro on the first day they met. Yeah, interesting. She shouted all that out, saying no heed to the people around her. Uh. <laughs> he walked to the side to avoid Anaya like a river on a lone island. Ah, so this is how Moses parted the sea. He shouted at it in an unreal voice. <laughs> Anaya's expression turned serious. She then began trembling. As fear taken a hold of Anaya at the realization of her predicament dawned upon her. Oh, fetch, we're going into Deadpool territory here. Get out now before we start doing hero poses. What? Too excited about this. She's like, at this one on one hand, she's freaking out. On the other hand, she's so excited because she thinks this is the coolest thing ever. She melted into the city background, clearly in high spirits. All right, that position, uh, proposition three, letter. Okay, so she does remember. She waved wildly at her. なんて言うんですかね。時代が私に追いついたって言うんでしょうか。なんかすっごい she fell extremely let down. Oh, come on! You be, trust me. Based on what we saw Goku that go through in Science Gate, you don't want to be the only one who's leaping, leaping through time. Ooh. By the way, if you haven't ever read or watched Science Gate, absolutely check it out. If you haven't even read it, like, you might want to stop here for a bit because I imagine that it's going to be talked about in reference. And while I don't want to drop any major spoilers, I kind of have a little bit. <laughs> uh, I think about, dang it, shut, stop watching this and go play Steins Gate. It's super good. Um, and then after you play it, go watch my playthrough of it if you're interested, because like that was one of my favorites. And we'll be doing the sequel soon, so and then that's how you see, I had to get my, throw my bits out there, but not too much. I'd rather you play the game than watch my playthrough of it. That's the genuine truth of the matter. It's cool to share the journey with you guys, but it's also really important to continue to support the developers and to like let yourself have your own experiences. Because um, part of what makes it so fun to play through with someone else is that you kind of get to see what their reactions are. But it's not good to make that your only experience. In my opinion, I think it's better to do it by playing yourself. So anyway, choo, let's get back to it. もし、ハチスカさんがタイムリープしてなかったら初対面の私がいきなり声かけるなんて思いっきり変人じゃん。危なかった。ガン、ゆかるゴゲアラだ。シーマイビーランアウェイ。あ、そういえばさっきまでシ
うんこんなことは初めてだよ急いでマンションに戻ろうマンションそうですねアラが so caught up in the unique experience that she had entirely forgotten about something What happened to Arara? If Arara wasn't involved in this time loop business, Mansion に行けば、一週間前と同じフラットな関係に戻れる In other words, Arara would never have hurt Arara. It wouldn't mean the fulfillment of her long loved dream, the,、uh, uh, the erasure of her sins. でも、そうじゃなかったら。Yeah, go find her. If Arara had also left through time, もう一度。マンションに来てくれるのかな Go find her. アルエどうしたの早くマンションに行こうもうアララも向かってるかもしれないよそうだよねアルエアララのことを What happened a week earlier or just a moment ago from that perspective wounded by アルエ s words アラララ fled the apartment アルエだアルエ Chased her after her. Gosh, their names are so similar. This made her more concerned, even after the fight, fail, even failing the assignment had been.、Uh, had, had, yeah. More concerned that even failing the assignment she had bet her entire life on. She did her best to catch up, catch up to her, and yet. When it came down to it, she froze up in, the, in fear. She hates herself. <laughs> あの子と次に会った時今までと同じ私じゃダメだそのためにまずこの不思議な体験と向き合わなきゃすみませんハチスカさん私先に寄りたいところがあるんです後から必ず行きますから先にマンションに行っててください、right. 先にってこれが本当にタイムリープなのかを確かめに私たち三人以外の私たちを知っている人のところに行きますなあ、そういうのがいいもう屋上には逃げたくないからあそっか Good idea that was splitting up They arrived at the shopping plant plaza ここの屋上にさっきまでいたんだよねハチスカさんは先にマンションに行っててよかったんですようんでもアルエに付き合いたくなったから Aww, that's very sweet But Kokoda, we do need to find out If Adara is at the apartment, we shouldn't leave her alone She smiled そう She turned away. Her cheeks were slightly flushed. Was she turning less p e e n from living with the girls for so long? <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> no, Adara was straight. Are you sure about that? <laughs> But she wasn't used to feeling connected to other people. Ah, close to the fountain. Kokoro. Sokka. Kokoro, I'm not the one. But, how did Adara get here? ここここに来るってわかったの超能力 yeah, But right now, her smartphone's clock displayed the time as 9 a.m., which meant there was a three hour gap. Had Kokoro been standing here the entire time? Kokoro was holding up something to the sky. It was a glass bead. Last time, Adara helped her find it after being kicked away from her by people passing by. Of course, that was something that happened in the afternoon. So there was this. So there's this idiot on Tween Tower the other day. He was selling these half naked girl figurines in the elementary school flea market. Here, take a look at the photo. He uploaded it all proud, you know? What a creep. Also illegal? Seriously? That's super gross. If kids got interested in that perverted stuff, it'd be terrible for their education. But hey, what do you, what do you see all even be fine after doing all that? Right. And the problem is that there's no problem. After all, this guy's a. The people wrapped up the conversation about tween to her bumped into Kokoro. The glass bead fell from her hands. Interesting, interesting. So, we're also seeing evidence of a causality conductor going on here, which is a term from the Bubble Up series. The idea that, that there are events in space time that are locked around characters rather than locked around specific times. 
uh, where because of various choices or decisions that are made by the characters, different events happen at different times. However, they will still be echoes of the same thing. And right before I land on the floor, Ara caught it. Aww. She returned it to her. Yeah, she's, she's coming off kind of cool now. I would have just dropped it anyway. Yeah, <laughs> Something felt off. And then she realized it. Oh, I just realized. Come here, microphone. You are not where you should be. I probably was a little quiet up till now, but I'm sure I fixed it in, not in editing. She clapped her hands together like the main character of an advertisement of an advertisement manga. Butterfly effect? 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 So she doesn't remember us. Interesting. I don't know, made a critical mistake. From Kokoro's perspective, a total stranger knowing her name was extremely suspicious. This made them seem like stalkers. Wait, did they two know each other? Oh, she's just forgetting. Yeah. Now there's a phrase I never thought I'd hear her say. She glared at them. She wavered. But Kodiro's earlier comment gave her a flash of inspiration. That was a flimsy excuse. Still creepy though. My Their suspicion levels had just skyrocketed. The surrounding people were also starting to murmur. Are they about to get reported? Not, uh, abducted the little girl. <laughs> no one gonna say anything. In front of Kokoro's room. お隣さんだったですよ。嘘言うわけないじゃないですか。はい、これお近づきの写真に。へ、ゴーイズ。ポッシュ。She <笑> Aww. Flap, flap. She jumped. Out of sight and relief. She slunk back into her own room. リスクは承知の上で話しかけたい理由があったんですよ。そしてそれはもうあの反応からさするにタイムリープ説でほぼ確定ポイント分かったのでオッケーです。いやいやいや。それに心ちゃんとは早めに知り合っておかなきゃ
Saying all that rather nonchalantly, Adara placed her hand on the doorknob. Her hand froze in place. It wasn't locked. Adara was inside. Even if her memories were reset, could Adara, could, could Adara talk to her as if nothing had happened? Would she end up crushed by her own pessimism? And what if Adara had experienced a time leap? Would it be out of place to mention her earlier slip up in the middle of such an extraordinary situation? Actually, would Adara even need her words? Even so, she still opened the door. She had to. Good job, Adara. Oh my gosh. She was there. Fujisaki Adara. Um. Wait a minute. This reminds me of when we first came in here last time. So maybe she did forget. But what was this? There, was, there she was, reigning on her throne with an indomitable grin. Oh, it was down on all fours, being used as a footstool. Ow! <laughs> She's a hologram! <laughs> Adara's body froze in place. The scene that she had imagined in her head popped like a bubble. All she could do was stand and observe the sheer strangeness of it. The bandage around her left hand were unwound. Her stuffed animal was also hanging right below her eyes. And her expression? Her light smirk gave off a bewitching aura. It felt like she was an entirely different person. もしや今日からここにお住まいになる契約者の方ですかどうかお助けをすもうもううるさいホルスタインおおクラップ痛いっすあれはキックなんでなんでホログラムのホロに触れるっすかいやわたへっそこはほらはたいて魔法少女だし Oh, the power's gone straight to her head. <laughs> All right, let's calm down. We don't know what happened here. Help me! Uh, they gulped. It appeared that Ara had been possessed by some unknown force. Anyway, they were trying to strike up a conversation. She narrowed her eyes like a cat. So, another is you, Chusotsumajon, Chusotsu witch. Chusotsumajon, Nani Kayoko, Hojosa. Does she not remember us? Wait, you are your own musket, or Mazu, another, Nani attendesco, Sono Gokuza, Tokoka, you stand the score? Those the Horosa, which you made a rudesco, Horacidesco, Yatsotaridesco? So she doesn't remember, okay. Is she also knows the term time leap? Well, of course she would. もってことはやっぱり藤崎さんも… この美少女を捕まえて変だの嘘つきだのよくも好きに言ってくれるものだまあ許しちゃうんだけどね抑えきれぬアダルティズムのもと歩く十八金と呼ばれたこの値だから<笑> The walking eighteen or older What? She flipped her hair up trying to act cool ほんじゃ her attitude suddenly changed. お嬢ちゃんたちはこれをいじめと言ったな。そんな大将行為などではなく罪深きホルスタイン目を尋問しているマッサイ。おめん。なのであった。痛いぞ。お尻をつねらないでほしいっす。はい、ほら、ほら、
Alright, well, they, they, if you're convinced that the machine did this to you, why do you keep acting all high and mighty? <laughs> oh, my inner eyeballs! I just. Oh my god, she shook her hands up and down like a piston. Fear had rendered hollow and completely speechless. <laughs> I got chills. She motioned her hands like she was using a syringe. She started shaking. あたいはただタイムリープなんて科学の範疇じゃないって思っていたからさ。驚いてるだけなんだ。客観性も再現性もない現象を目の当たりにして、マテリアリストとしてはカテゴライズするなら、与えてきにはオカルトってとこだ。メイクセンス、メイクセンス。15歳の女の子には大好物かもしれないけど、オカルトもカルト宗教も信じないたちなんだよね。与えって。まあ、ウェイ、the Arara had no opportunity to interrupt. Arara, Arara was like a completely different person. しかし、主観的にも客観的にも時間は巻き戻った。観測器具はもちろん与えた3人の脳みそだ。She is talking very formally too. I wonder. She wouldn't have her seal again, would she? No. There's something else is going on here. だから。今一度と父袋君この現象はどんな理屈で発言したかわかるだろ原理を通っているのではなく理屈の話だだからホロには答えられないっすってテオホニャ she chopped her hand in between Hollow's Great Valley. Oh no! <laughs> How? She's a hologram! <笑>偉い人は言ったとさ答えを知らないものは答えられないとは答えないバイアタイ。That Wow, really? あ、あ。聞こえ遠くの方で話が進んでる気分なんですが、木星とかそのあたりの規模で。Third <laughs> 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 Oh, fat. Yes. She plopped out one of her fingers into the soul dispenser. A string of letters seemingly code appeared on this on the display. なんじゃこりゃ。ソールリンクシステムのロゴっすよ。超絶暗号ソフトを使ってるので、見た目はこんな感じになるっす。Interesting. それについてはホロ自身にログが残ってないのであ、ココロちゃんの記憶も1週間前にリセットされてるっぽかったですからねでもソウルリンクシステムは確かに一度だけ起動してるっすね。Interesting. 今まで一度も起動したことがないのに。
So, no one really knows what happened. <laughs> The difference between this, so if, if they were talking about like the other time leap, remember that what that was is it was a leap of your memories, not so much your actual body. Super hyper computer, so yeah. Jumping back in time, like, 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 be so easy to jump into just empty space because the planets are moving, and even if you jumped into relatively the same area, you could be warped into a wall, into the ground, into other people. So like leap and the thing is that they 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 we picked up uh, we picked up the girl um Adara in the place where she was a week ago. And so it it's, it seems more likely that their minds and their memories went back in time, nothing else. Noise. Allah's entire body started flickering with noise, reminiscent of the kind of static you see on an old TV. Interesting. <laughs> She looked over at Adara and Kodigo. She waved her handkerchief in the air. Hmm. She was not listening to them at all. She pointed up at the ceiling. We looked up. Huh? They looked back. <laughs> what the heck? An enigma. A mystery. This is entirely too strange. In the end, Ara and Kuriro. What was that? Decided not to think about it. Well, it gets, I get I get sci-fi, but it's like literally just gone. I don't know, standing still in the place where the throne used to be. She was looking down. I couldn't see her face. She rewrapped her bandages. She looked at her head. Okay, so it's the whole like demon trapped in the arm thing? いや。だって。あららが難しいこと喋って変な感じになってたから。変な感じとは。もしやこの救世主たる藤崎あららがポイズンパルスに汚染されているとでも。She made a fearless smirk. いつもの藤崎さんだ。Ara was relieved. She never would have expected her hearing more poison pulse would one day fill her with relief. Uh, uh, she clapped her hands together in joy. Ara and Kodiro felt a strange tension of eight. She was searching for the right words. She hesitated, not knowing what to say at first. And then... Interrupting Adara, she started reviewing the situation. 
They were placed one week into the past, and everyone else but them have no memories of what happened before the time leap. Once they finished, Kodiro clapped her hands together. So you got to that under time leap, so she said, So they were so link system to Yaranga, had to get a set again, so no yo. So link system. それってホロさんが言ってた心のシンクロで動く機能ってやつですよねはいそうっす日付や時刻はめちゃくちゃにバグってるっすけど確かに一度だけシンクロの記録が残ってるっすねそれじゃあ最後の挑戦に失敗した後えどういう意味ですかだって挑戦は一度しかしてないよねもし挑戦中にシンクロしていたならその時点で課題がクリアできてなきゃおかしいよねうん、いや、それが私が思ったのは、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それが、それタイムリープは危険を伴うものっす。最悪の場合は、追消滅が起きてしまうすから。<笑>意味わかんないし、黙っててもらえます<笑>嘘そ、so、much for thinking about it. いやいや、何を期待して話してんのか知りませんけど、私たち、中卒ですよ。そんな難しいこと言われても理解できませんけど。I don't know. I 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 こんな状況に直面したら、物理の知識より攻略本が必要なんですよ、私たちには。まあ、そうっすけど、えらくドストレートな要求っすね。現状を打開するには、そうっすね。やっぱり、一度失敗されたという、哲、okay. 学の課題をクリアするしかないっすね。So, this weird wonder box possibly just wants them to pass the test. And so, when they achieve synchronization, it reset the week so they could use their synchronization to solve the puzzle? Interesting. So, the link system will be able to do it. Hi, sir. If you have a problem with the system, you can use the system to shift the system. You can use the system to shift the system. You can use the system to shift the system. You can use the system to shift the system. You can use the system to shift the system. You can use the お嬢様方のお話一つでそれが可能かと言われるとそうですか Strangely enough, she was convinced. This entire situation felt surreal. Synchronizing their hearts seemed to have twisted the world's rules. A phenomenon not even Hollow could foresee, despite being thoroughly knowledgeable about the system. I thought it was something like straight out of a sci fi manga. A feeling of terror crept up her spine. But at the same time, she thought of the following. Right. It was a chance. A second chance to clear the assignment they'd already failed once. The second win, which would help Adara accomplish that which she had to do in life. More importantly, the Soul Link system used their heart synchronization as its key. The seed of possibility had been planted. And even beyond that. The guilt she felt on Adara was not something to be erased. She believed it with all her heart. She looked at Arara. She was staring silently at the soul dispenser, thinking about something. Perhaps Arara was also mulling over how to make amends with Arara. Or she thought, or so she thought. It might be, honestly. With how weird things have gone, I actually can't say that, oh, she's crazy anymore. Interesting. Immediately following that declaration, Arada tried leaving the room. Adara stopped. She remained with her back facing Adara. Yeah. 
So Nakoto de Atkin. Once again, all she could do is watch Adara ran off. She couldn't move an inch. Go talk to her, dang it! Her heart ached. Miss Adara. She hadn't been called that since the first met on the rooftop. Fetch, man. They hurried to the apartment's rooftop in pursuit of Adara. They could see the tower from here. Adara had her back to Adara and Kodigo, preventing them from reading her expression. However, they could tell she was staring at the tower. She tried calling out to her, but stopped midway. It felt like a thick iron gate had been set up in the throat, blocking out all sound. Come on! Go on! She took a deep breath and... Adara slowly turned around. ひどいも何も。あららは自分の成すべき目的のため早急に動いただけ。暴走列車の間違いじゃなくて。用意されたレールから脱線するという意味では肯定。誰かの作った道を歩いてスクエール世界はゲームだけだから。<laughs> Interesting. Arara heaved a sigh of relief. Arara was acting the same as always. Nothing about her felt off. There's definitely still a bump in their relationship, though. Almost as if Arara sins had nailed it down in place. There was a moment of silence between them. Growing uncomfortable, Arara quickly spoke up. だって。つい先まで。うん。うん、そうですよね。その実を言うと私、最初浮かれちゃいました。漫画みたいなことが起きて、私って選ばれし人間なんじゃって感じで。我ながらおつまがすっからかんだったと思いますよ、本当。そん
It was the same question she voiced upon their first meeting. Adara had had let had let Adara on, trying to led Adara on, trying to break off their relationship as quickly as possible. Now once again they were thrust upon her. This time they were not the wavelengths of a psycho, but those of her heart. She couldn't answer. No matter how positively she looked at it, to her it didn't seem like the path of, to a wonderful life. Adara turned her back on them. Or after a moment. <laughs> ソウルリンクシステムの謎にも迫れるでしょうから。それに、うん？いや、何でもないです。それより、アルエさんはアララにだけ自分の目的を手伝わせるつもり？いえ、そんなことはしませんよ。私も藤崎さんを手伝います。